And in the day's other news, a white police officer in New York City who put a black man, Eric Garner, in a fatal chokehold in 2014 will not face federal charges. Garner could be heard gasping, I can't breathe, as Officer Daniel Pantaleo gripped him during an arrest. A state grand jury already declined to indict Pantaleo, and today federal prosecutors said they could not prove that he willfully violated Garner's civil rights. Garner's mother, Gwen and Carr called the finding an outrage and demanded that Pantaleo be fired. Five years ago, my son said, I can't breathe 11 times. And today we can't breathe because they have let us down. Officer Pantaleo and all the officers who was involved in my son's death that day need to be off the force. The streets of New York City is not safe with them walking around. A senior U.S. Justice Department official said that Attorney General William Barr himself made the decision overruling officials who wanted to charge Pantaleo. We'll delve into the decision-making after the news summary. As of today, federally funded family planning clinics had to stop referring women for abortions. Federal courts allowed the Trump administration to begin enforcing the referral ban until legal challenges are decided. The move is seen as a blow to Planned Parenthood, but the group said it would forego federal funds for now and continue making abortion referrals. The nominee for U.S. Secretary of Defense today criticized Turkey's purchase of Russian-made air defenses. The U.S. strongly opposed the move by the NATO ally. Mark Esper, who is currently the Secretary of the Army, told his Senate confirmation hearing that Turkey's decision was the wrong one. Both the United States very disappointing. Uh, you know, Turkey has been one, a, a long-standing NATO ally, a very capable one. I think they were one of the original allies, if I think back to when the alliance formed. And so it is very disheartening to see how they've drifted over the past several years. Later, President Trump confirmed that Turkey's purchase from Russia means that the U.S. will not sell advanced fighter jets to the Turks. He claimed the Obama administration created the problem by failing to sell an American missile defense system to Turkey in the first place. North Korea suggested today that it may lift a 20-month moratorium on nuclear and missile tests. That came as talks have stalled on ending the North's nuclear program. But President Trump said again there is no hurry about reaching an agreement. For the first time, the European Commission will have a woman as president. The outgoing German defense minister, Ursula von der Leyen, was confirmed today. She won a bare majority of votes in the European Parliament in an outcome that was met with applause after weeks of deadlock. The new leader promised to focus on climate change and gender equality. Back in this country, the head of Facebook's new digital currency, Libra, faced criticism from senators in both parties. They branded the social media giant dangerous for failing to protect users' personal data. In turn, Facebook's David Marcus said the company is working to earn back people's trust, and he insisted digital transactions will safeguard consumers. We will take the time to get this right. We expect the review of Libra to be among the most extensive ever. We are fully committed to working with regulators here and around the world. And let me be clear and unambiguous, Facebook will not offer the Libra digital currency until we have fully addressed regulators concerned and received appropriate approvals. Facebook says it hopes to launch its Libra cryptocurrency in 2020. On Wall Street today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 23 points to close at 27,335. The Nasdaq fell 35 points and the S&P 500 slipped 10. And NASA kicked off celebrations today for the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11, when men first landed on the moon. Crew member Michael Collins, who's now 88, was on hand this morning at Cape Canaveral for the exact moment when he, Buzz Aldrin, and Neil Armstrong blasted off on July 16, 1969. Five days later, Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. He passed away in 2012. Still to come on the news hour, what is behind the Department of Justice decision not to charge police in the killing of Eric Garner? On the ground in Brazil, where refugees from Venezuela search for a safer life, Colombia's foreign minister on how his country is grappling with Venezuela refugees and a fragile peace, plus much more.